frustration and anger from Omaha's mayor about the behavior of a city councilwoman. So much so, the mayor orders city staff to quit attending meetings when Juanita Johnson is present. The councilwoman responds with her own letter, arguing she is the one being disrespected. Brian Mastry joins us live with reaction from both sides, including Councilmember Johnson. Aaron, John, the last few council meetings have been odd to say the least. Mayor Stothert penned this letter recently saying that Juanita Johnson, the council member there, has raised the level of hostility towards city staff, so much so that she writes that she needs to protect them from the councilwoman's abusive treatment. I caught up with Councilman Johnson just a little bit ago to get her take. Mayor Jean Stothert points to this exchange last week at the February 6th public meeting as the final straw. Councilmember Juanita Johnson is addressing the city's planning director. Are we not answering questions today, Mr. Fanslaw? No, that's the first time you called on me, so I'll answer your question for you. Oh. The um, rezoning went in front of planning board the first Wednesday in December of last year. First of December of last year? The first Wednesday of December of last year. Meaning 2023? That would be last year, yes. Thank you, smart ass. Everything seemed to stop in council chambers for a moment. No, council President Pete problem. Festerson then jumped in. Let's, let's keep our remarks uh, respectful, please. The planning director walked out and did not return. Councilwoman Johnson then offered this. When he talks to me incorrectly, he is, he, I'm in line to, to talk back. This isn't isolated, according to Omaha's longest serving mayor. In the letter Stothert emailed to the council members Friday afternoon, she said Juanita Johnson's behavior is unprecedented during my time in city government. Monday, Juanita Johnson seemed to fire back with her own letter titled Fostering Respect and Collaboration Within the City Council, where she argues that she is the one being treated differently. I caught up to Councilwoman Johnson this afternoon to ask her about the mayor's email from four days ago. I have not seen a letter that you're referring to. Where she said the city directors aren't going to be in any meetings participating with you, sent it on Friday? I did not receive that. Why did you send your letter then? Um, I got to go to city council. Can we do this afterwards? Giving me Doesn't an opportunity. Start for five minutes. Right, but I still need, I just got in from Lincoln. I, you've caught me off guard. I need to have time to look at this. After some back and forth, Councilman Johnson asked me. Do you have a copy of the letter? I'll show it to you. Juanita Johnson read through the mayor's letter, explaining that elected officials must be held to a higher standard, but did not share her immediate thoughts with me. Let me review the letter. I can tell you what my letter was about. Let's talk about this after the city council meeting. Now, in the mayor's letter, she asked that the city council address the behavior of their colleague. I talked to city council president Pete Festerson. He told me that as a group, they've worked hard to maintain civility and respect and that it's important to rise above the personal political differences to focus on the work of Omaha. We're live in Midtown. Brian Mastery, 6 News.